Hello everyone, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Today we have a War of Secession event for you. We covered War of Brothers a few weeks ago. Now we're covering War of Secession to see which one I prefer. And let me know your thoughts in the comments which one you prefer. Because if Sunday Night Fights doesn't come back, we'll do one of these two events. But our first map here is Conquest on the Rocky Slopes, followed up by more Conquest on the Railroad Cut. You're seeing an overview of both of those maps right now. Thank you to our Patreon members for the support. If you'd like to support, go to the link in the description where you can get a live stream of all the broadcasts we do. You can advertise your regiment on the bottom of our videos and get raw gameplay footage of everything we cover with no commentary and UI. So our teams for today, on the Confederate side, you got two core, Hampton's Legion, New York Volunteers, Kelly's Brigade, Pickett's Brigade, Mississippi Brigade, Missouri State Guard, and the Shenandoah Rattlers. Whereas on the Union side, you got I Corps, Hood's Division, 9th Corps, Eagles Brigade, Iron Brigade, 83rd Pennsylvania, 20th New York, 32nd Ohio, 2nd United States Rifles, or 2nd United States Regulars, my apologies, and then the 8th Alabama. So, server pop right now is 280 in balances, 4 towards the CSA side. CSA has 3 on artillery, Union has 9. So, as teams are kind of moving out right now, we'll explain the rule set for this event. So, you can see that they didn't start moving out until the 42 minute mark. And that's when they cap their home base point. So CSC's base point is A. They got to go there off the rip. And then Union got to go to their home point at C off the rip. But they can't start capping until that 42-minute mark. And then from there, they can only fight over A and C. They can't fight over the middle point until somebody hits last stand. So artillery is now live. You can see... One Union guy is up there. A couple are. So this will be fascinating. It's quite interesting because I've watched a few Conquest events. And this is a new rule set that I haven't seen before. And I'll be intrigued to see how it works. Now, normally how Conquest works is you have the three points on the field. Each team is fighting to control a majority of those points. And if you control a majority, you deal a ticket drain on your opponent. So if you're up 1-0 in terms of flags you will be doing one flags pulls worth of damage to your opponent. If you're up 2-0, you'll be doing two. If you're up 3-0, a counterattack phase will happen and a three flag pulls worth of damage, which will be a lot. That can knock you down a whole morale stage within a few minutes. However, since each side has one point capped, as we have now with CSA having A and Union having C, no one's losing any tickets. And so that's why I think this rule set is interesting. So... It looks like CSA has a few groups held back to defend. Uh, what do we got here? It looks like Kelly's Brigade. Uh, their job is to hold back at a... What was it? I watched Boy Howdy and Kelly's Brigade. Uh, they had the job of sitting back, and now they're doing it again. But for Union, looks like you got Hood's Division. They're holding by that middle point, protecting their artillery. Uh, looks like you got 83rd and 4th U.S. Battery over there but it looks like a lot of the fighting is going to happen on top of this hill which is fascinating and one thing i did forget to mention and i apologize to both of these guys but our co-commentators today uh you got corded from 6la and then brutish from the ninth core and i just realized that the view on the top left is also my view so we got two eagle views here today but corded should be in that top view uh i'm going to quickly fix that but fascinating thing is both teams are fighting over this wood line on top of the hill you never see fighting up here and i think csa it's the logical approach to go this way to get to union c point but for union there's no good way of going up to the top or sorry going to a all right, so Cordage view is now up. Get close, get close, so I can get, get close, so I can get formation. Get close, so I can get information. Thank you. Just fixing a thing or two. Apologies with that. There's six people spawn in. Seven. All right, we should be good to go. Anyways, Cordage view. He's dead. Yay. <laughs> so. I, again, I, I haven't seen fighting up here before. I think it's interesting. I mean, to kind of visually represent this, CSA, uh, this is the this makes sense for them to approach the Union C point, then go on the wood line all the way to that C point. Union, 
doesn't really have a great angle towards A. Uh, ninth core uh, getting pushed back by MB there, but Union could go down to the force there and loop their ray around to the A point, but it looks like they want to prevent CSA from going up this way, and so they're contesting this. Maybe they want to go through CSA Artie as well. Looks like HL here uh, is charging. Some, I see an Eagles Brigade tag, so a couple of them being charged out right now. I see Iron Brigades holding these rocks as well. Because I swear there wasn't no enemy. Oh, oh. Save me! Oh, no. Someone's already getting overrun. They ain't CSA. What the heck? Must be that one CSA guy down there. <laughs> Which is funny. So... For now, Union's just kind of spreading out, and really, it's just a shootout. This is fascinating. This is what I love about the Conquest and Contention game mode, is that you fight over areas that you don't normally fight over of in this game, this being one of them. So the Union line, uh, you got i on the right. We saw Iron Brigade. Looks like Eagles Brigade is also spawning here in the center. I see 9th Corps to their left. Looks like MB took these rocks that they charged 9th uh, Corps off. The rest of CSA is starting to bulge down the center here. 2 Corps and NYD slamming into that. And overall, CSA is winning on the rock. Union reinforcements from the top side of the hill. i collapsing, uh, kind of wiping the back side of this attack. And so they've kind of swapped, swapped places so far, Union and CSA. i continuing to pursue, getting one flag, trying to go up the hill where 2 appears to be holding. Uh, you think you're tough with that business? You're gonna die too now. Come on. <laughs> and two core is gonna hold that. CSA looks like they've won and held the rocks. Union has fallen back. You see a couple down flags. I think this is one CSA flag down there, even though it's blue. I think it's CSA flag. Yeah, they just. Why is the CSA flag blue? A little confusing. Got another down flag here. It's Union flag, but it looks like Ninth Corps alongside Eagles Brigade is going to advance forward here. And Eagles Brigade is just going to go straight in on MB. Uh, there's more than MB here, I think. Yeah, NYV. And so EB outnumbered there is going to get destroyed. Looks like Ninth Corps is going to slam into here as well. Brace left. You would kindly give me one minute. Oh, thank you very much. I do appreciate it. And so, CSA still holding firm. I mean, two cores just sitting back there <laughs> watching <laughs> as their friendlies getting a big old massacre. Union swarming up here trying to hold this. It's. Kind of close up here. I guess there's some charging maybe going on near A. Looks like maybe HD. Perhaps 20th New York's right there. But I don't know who was over here. Maybe maybe HD. HD was a larger force that was holding back at A. And there's not a whole lot of Union outside of those on artillery. Oh my goodness. Union's continuing to attack. I'm not going to lie, if 2 core would have maybe rolled up there uh, and helped some of their friendlies there, maybe they would have a larger force in this defense. But Union starting to gain ground. i core, Iron Brigade mostly on top of this hill here. Lead frog it, lead frog it. Hey, push it, push it, push it, push it. Fuck you, cocksucker. Yeah, sit down. And Union is methodically pushing their way down this wall right now. Look at that. Oh, fuck me. Oh, my gosh. There's a lot of Union, though, sitting back. Don't 100% know if they use a Steam chat in this event. 
Looks like Union's gonna slam, though EB is slamming in. Uh, Ninth Corps is moving over here as well. Oh, Ninth Corps is kind of veering off. They're trying to hit uh, the flag. Corded. Brutish. How is Corded getting out of there? Both those flags are getting out. How did... Oh, that's, I'm shocked that Ninth Corps didn't get either of those flags. They're still trying to pursue. And it's, I don't know. Ninth Corps is going after the flags and kind of hitting into the CSA artillery. I do think they should turn and help their friendlies wipe out the remainder of this group, which it looks like another Union group is going to try to slam the slide. EB is moving that way. Uh, they're going in a little spread out, though. Some charged, some stayed back. Tickets overall in favor of CSA, which I guess isn't terribly surprising. Don't stand still. And because two of those flags pulled out, you got the third one pulling out. Uh, looks like two cores flag. CSA was going to dwindle their numbers up front. It looks like they're finally being pushed back. Ninth Corps is making their way up to the CSA already. You got HL, PB guys, the CSA NYV as well, and B. CSA looks like they're trying to swarm back up to assist where two cores at, but uh, I reckon they're just going to turn around. Yep, there we go. So Union continuing to pursue. You might as well. We'll see if they want to hold here. They're going to try to get to that A point. I mean, you have some Union troops that uh, maybe 9th Corps veered off. Yeah, it looks like they're heading straight for the point. As, lo if, as long as they can decap it, that's frankly all they need to do. Um, that Union... Flag advantage will help them out uh, with this imbalance. And, oh, it's going to be close. Kill that officer. Kill the fucking officer. Kill the fucking officer. Get, while I captain's fucking flag. Alright, there's, uh, there's another officer Cover. in your line. Oh, they're they're not gonna gonna be very be close. <laughs> but Kelly's Brigade's going to stop that. Union taking full control. What side am I on? I'm on the Union side. What the heck? Must be Union Artillery men keep going on and off the guns or guys running through it. But CSA's got a down flag. One, it looks like. I mean, Union has that down flag, too. Remember, there's a five-minute despawn timer on it, so... We'll probably despawn within a minute or so, if not within the next, like, 30 seconds. That's been done for... That's been down for a good second or so. But... Two core NYV holding up on top of this hill, uh, using the artillery as their cover. Union not too antsy to go to that A point, which they have full control of the field, but they are down on tickets, so wouldn't it be a terrible idea to go to that point. Eagles Brigade starting to shift in down the road. Maybe Union's going to try to slowly move down the road like they did. On the snake fence by the wood line. So Eagles Brigade's heading down. What do you got here? More NYV moving up. You also got some Union up on the wood line. So CSA is forming a very big old battle line. And you got a good chunk in the woods. They're very spread out, though, just uh, using the cover of that wood line to their advantage. CSA doesn't... They seem to be operating one gun. And it looks like Eagles Brigade shifted their way up. We miss you. We miss you. They're trying to encircle the CSA up it's top here. Right here. I don't know if Union as a team is trying to push the CSA out of the artillery position. I do think a priority should be going to this A point. The problem with what Eagles Brigade doing is 
again, I think the flag's more important, but Kelly's Brigade has responded to this perfectly. I think some P Pickett's Brigade guys in 5th VA here as well. They're just getting right on their back in the rocks, getting great flanking shots on Eagle's Brigade. I really think they need to put pressure on the point. And you have some Union starting to do that. Union flag has despawned in the woods. You got, it was at 9th Corps run all the way down here. 20th New York as well. And then HD is rolling up. HD doesn't have that flag. I was, I'm pretty sure that's their flag that was down. So tired. Your spacing, get your spacing. Don't clump up. So it looks like Ninth Corps having some charges in the wood line, getting a few skirmishers out. I will say, even though Eagle's Brigade was in a pretty crappy spot, uh, it did draw Kelly's Brigade kind of out of that wood line, and it might give Union a chance at A. I Corps is pushed up, somewhat using that cover to their advantage, getting a lot of shots. You have uh, I Corps charging in the wood line. You can kind of see that with Brutish's view on the top right, but it looks like they've gotten beaten back. Hey, CSA already got a kill. So both sides inching their way down to engage. I even realized that we're almost at 25 minute mark. Battle's gone. Gone fast. But it's going to be hard for Union to uh, decap this point. I mean, who's holding the wood line here? HL, some KB guys as well. It's just going to be hard because CSA is going to be able to attack from the wood line and this uh, little cover here, even though there's four of them. But uh, NYB, MB, they could shift down easily. I'm alive. But Union has control of the map. Not being able to get that B point makes this interesting. And Union is going to have to catch up uh, in tickets somehow. Had a we lot of Union down. holding on the back side. It could be respawns. Yeah. For a split second, I'm like, why isn't Union spawning over there? But this is Col not Colquitt's defense. So, Union. Uh, looks like Ninth Corps. Look to your right. Look to your right. Quickly, pull back. Pull trying back. to shoot at A. Pull back. Oh, oh shit. Oh, hey, yeah, pull, right pull back over here. Quickly, quickly. Over here. Kind of intrigued. I can't find the, the rule set in my quick scan. I could just be missing it though, but... I mean, Union uh, somewhat has stopped defending the C point. I mean, you got 8th Alabama. Holding up uh, there. Looks like they're moving up to the front line. HD, they've gotten their flag back, kind of reforming. I mean, Union has full control of the map. They got their Artie here, which there's what? Oh, we're almost at 300 now. Look at that. Uh, Union's got seven on artillery compared to the four that CSA does. So, I mean, beautiful view on the field. Being able to take great shots. So, you obviously got the CSA view on top of that hill shooting down, and then uh, Ninth Corps is down by the, the White House here. A little further back than the rest of the line, but they still got the same idea happening there. Right here, boys. We have to back it up. Back it up. Back it up. Catch a break. Run down that line, boys. Just So, geez, I wonder. Now. This is my first time watching this rule set, and for all I know, this is just one map, and we'll, like, we'll see how next round goes, but I feel like there'd be a lot of draws with these type of conquest maps, and maybe that's that might be the point. Eagles Brigade down. pushing a little forward, uh, putting some pressure on the CSA who are getting shot up and not falling back. Because the, the thing with conquest is the flag... Uh, ticket rate that it kills you at if you're down a flag is very high 
so this is kind of a way to still play conquest while not having the flags be too big of a contributing factor that's of course if you hold it <laughs> we'll see if they do hd is attempting to make a push uh, you got 50 a on those rocks there with PV kind of shifting around. You got more Union shifting around the far side. Is this Knife Corps again? No, oh, that's 8th Alabama. Hello, Captain Nolan. Hey, Nolan. So it looks like they're going to attempt to go to that A point again. You can see a lot of Union are shifting that way, and that's why CSA is responding in kind. Knife Corps shifted up here alongside HD. I Corps as well. And CSA is getting a little aggressive here. Oh, Keep up your fire. Can I sit on your shoulders? So oh, enemy on the hill. Direct north. Direct north. Direct north. Direct north. So Union has shifted the fight over a little bit. They're at least killing 6LA that's up top. I guess two core there. They're killing them pretty bad. You got, what is it, 8th Alabama. They're shifting around the far side. Uh, Kelly's Brigade guys, some MSG here as well. MB, they're going to get some action. As, yeah, I think this is the third attempt to try to get this A point. Which, I mean, if Union gets two of the points, that's very huge for your side. It's like Union shifting over more, approaching the A point. And i is going to start the decap. And they are charging those rocks there. Got Union charging up top as well. 8th Alabama hitting this at a very good time. Come here, bitch! Get on the fish! Oh my god. I love you touching me. I love the touching. I love the touching. Oh. And so charge is close. I think Union's gonna prevail on that. And CSA one up here and they're starting to counter charge. Reinforcements will be down from the hill. That point is decapped, so CSA is gonna start losing tickets to the the flag. And CSA is trying to prevent this. You got two core engaged. You got corded there. But Union has a strong foothold. And if CSA piecemeals in here, it is not going to end well in here. I mean, you got half, if not three-fourths of the Union team here. More CSA is starting to make their way down the hill right now. And YV now heading that way. But... Union's got that A point. They're going to deal two flagpoles worth of damage on the CSA. Don't let him come in. Don't let him come in. More Union reinforcements on the right, it looks like. And so you have some charging on the artillery. CSA has to relieve pressure on this A point. I don't know the rules about sending skirmisher groups out and about to decap points, but... ABC, ABC, we're pulling it back. Boys, hold, hold, hold. DB, face here, face here, on this line, on this line. EB, wheel right, EB, wheel right. Wheel right, wheel right, hold on. So Union take this, and that ticket bleed is going to hurt. We'll give it a few minutes, and we will see the result. CSA retreating out of this wood line. I mean, that's really... The only way CSA is going to have a shot at retaking this point is applying some pressure up here, which you have uh, oh, two flags, deal, which it looks like it's about to be a third flag. And then you got to get a wave from Maine, which is down there, hitting the Union on this wood line. And you can see Union starting to shift a little further left. You should probably take those rocks there. To secure their flank. My name's Springs. I see Alamo. But look at that. Ticket's already down for CSA. <laughs> hey. hey, 
guys, go to the Alamo! Shoot him! So uh, I like that HD's there. i guys starting to make their way. You got CSA coming out of the woods. They're very spread out right now. Get some, bitch! Boom! And it seems like CSA is just desperately trying to get back up there. Uh, KBHL are the ones up here right now. Got some CSA. One of the flags is trying to shift around. CSA starting to realize they need to hit this flank for Union, which Union's not really defending a whole lot. Looks like they've pulled off. A lot are actually falling back to C right now. Ninth Corps. Eagles Brigade. Are they... I don't know why they're concerned. Uh, they're, they're having a lot falling back right now. But regardless, I mean, look at that ticket difference already. So CSA is going to swarm that point as Union have basically abandoned it. And the shots will continue. Or is CSA going to try to charge it out? I I core now charging in. I'm confused by Union Strat when two regiments fall back away from A and then the half that's holding here. It's like half the team is going back to C to defend. And then the other half is trying to desperately hold the point. So a little confused on that mark. HD now charging in as well. I mean, let's go here if we can see anything on this side. It's not allowed, but you can take it physically. I call. I mean, this is... CSA is going to basically wipe Union over there. Union's priority on that front should just be to preserve their flags. We charged well the ABC. We charged up left side just to kind of wipe the, the uh, average for should be a problem. Yeah, because I technically yeah, not be a valid Yeah, we, we, we had A. It was hey, Captain King Bob. Yeah, 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 I can hear you. Yeah, yeah. Hey, let's, hey, let's all move yeah, to the woods. Let, West. Yeah. Let's go yeah, okay, okay, okay. you got it. Okay. All right, you want to see it on that fence line? I think that's probably the best I mean, for all we know, they maybe could have thought because they were all at that A point that CSA had sent maybe a regiment towards C. Don't necessarily know. Obviously, we see from the above view, it's kind of like there was nothing there to be worried about. So, looks like CSA going from that A point is trying to sweep around the map. Union's up by a half a morale stage right now, roughly. You got some Union at CSA already. Uh, they're having some skirmish in Union, kind of in that top woods. I mean, Union could kind of hold this out for the rest of the time if they wanted to. But you got HL moving this way right now. Who is it? HL? A little spread out. PB. Uh, in the wood line here, you've got two cores starting to push around this side. It looks like maybe just 6LA. It's not a lot of the Mississippi guy here. <laughs> But looks like they're trying to go up. I mean, CSA is not going to be able to make an adequate push to A or C. Sorry, more than half of the team is back defending the point. Which, at this point in the match, you've got 13 minutes. You're down a half a morale stage. Don't know the specifics for draw. Well, when you just look at the game individual, not necessarily our campaign. If the sides have the same morale stage, it doesn't matter how high or low you are in a morale stage. It'll be a draw. 
if you are up a like if the game ended now union would win but if union fell to taking losses and then the round ended it would be a draw because both sides are taking losses so it's just based on the morale stage what you are doesn't matter where you are in it that was a good volley so the only way CSA is winning this game at this point is if they decap that C point. Or they can try to force a draw, which in 12 minutes I have a feeling Union's going to be at a low taking losses and CSA will be in breaking. So CSA is taking control of Union artillery. Not like there was a whole lot of people on that in the first place. But CSA is going to have a real hard time trying to take the C point. And we're not going to see anyone capture this middle point. No, neither side is going to hit breaking by the time the clock hits zero. But we'll see. you got some CSA. Uh, oh, they're charging. They are outnumbered here. That volley didn't hit a whole lot. PBHL trying. Union fall back right away. I guess Union was a little outnumbered there. Looked initially like it was the contrary, but you got uh, 6LA on that far side there uh, going up to that big tree, going to gun to the point. I'm a little confused why Union's holding in the middle. I'm surprised they're not holding over here. I, I don't, I don't know. But Union is at least shifting over there this way. I core starting to push that way. Maybe they just showed up. I don't necessarily know, but. Uh, they are leaving C wide open. <laughs> but at least some of I Corps, 83rd Pennsylvania, is going to get there. And they're going to get there just in the nick of time to start engaging 6LA. And it looks like HL and PB are charging very spread out. I'll take you Here they come. Hold the ground. Yeah, brace, brace, brace. See if 6LA charges in as well as their friendlies are. Looks like they are. It's definitely more than 6LA that's rolling up. You can see CSA is trying to turn the flank right now. They're trying to get on the Union side and turn down their line and flank them, but... Union's going to get there in the nick of time. CSA attempting to decap. And so far, it is not working at all. So, I like the attempt from CSA. Uh, Union re responded and uh, recovered in the nick of time. It looks like Union might be putting a little pressure on the A point. On the other side, you got a few CSAs. This, uh, who's it? Eagles Brigade's going for A. I presume Kelly's Brigade might be the ones. You got MB up top. And then KB, where they've been the whole round. Keep sprinting. Sprint up the hill. On me, on Tree me. Line rocks, on boys. Me. Tree line rocks, boys. Three line rocks. On me, on me, gentlemen. And that decap has started. There's not a. Knight's been watching them approach. He dies. I don't know why those KB guys sat there for so long. They, they might be able to get the decap off, which is frankly all you need at this point. We'll grow that ticket lead by a larger margin and make sure that CSA is down to breaking. Bar Baggins trying to get the flyer out. Good decap there from Matt. And 8th Texas from Kelly's Brigade is collapsing. Only one man might. Oh. Hey, don't they... you're going. What do you think you're going? Oh, I missed the stab. Get back here, flag. Get back here, flag. Oh, good shot. Someone. Can Angel do it? Max stuck on the rocks. Yes. What do you think you're going? Come here. Oh. <laughs> Red attack complete. Red attack complete. So CSA hold, but that decap is all the Union kind of need right now. Union needs to make sure CSA is down to breaking within the next eight minutes. And Union will be in taking losses when this game ends, unless something crazy happens. But are they raising a flag? Okay, they're starting to. But 
Uh, great decap there from Eagles Brigade. Uh, they might have lost their flag and got completely wiped, but uh, there's something more important. So I think Union needs to go over aggressive here and force CSA to breaking, uh, and then they can get a very good win. Uh, so far, they have deserved the win. From every metric, they have kind of bullied their way to do whatever they want. And the only times they lost is because they gave things up, like they gave up that A point. Which is a little confusing, but frankly, it, it kind of doesn't matter as long as you get the win. Uh, who's trying to get this flag out? NYV. So, CSA has that flag. No loss of tickets to that... Uh, to the flags. How is Spork alive? Come here, bitch boy. Oh, good stabs from the the Bazilla, the Dabzilla and Dixie. So, it looks like Union. They're kind of moving up. You got some CSA making their way to C, which I don't know how much that's gonna do. Stand up. And if I'm CSA, I turtle. That's just me. PB and HL are rolling up here. A lot of shots going off right now. Union does outnumber CSA here. I don't know if they didn't realize Union was about to roll up here. Because there is that house there. But that's a lot of lost tickets there for CSA. You got more guys trickling in here from TB and HL. MB's pulling off, which is smart. You can have taken losses. You can hear Colt saying to charge there. I love it. Oh, Nate, no. Kill him, boys. Kill him. Get him. Kill him, EB. Keep moving. Keep moving. Got CSA charging from the top of the hill. KB going down. I, I don't get why CSA is charging piecemeal here. Hey, you're just throwing tickets away. Now it's about inevitability that CSA has lost this game. Ninth core making their way to that A point. Uh, you got some union. Never mind, it's CSA. It's all too off. Might have assumed too much. Independent gentlemen, shoot those bastards. Yeah, shoot them. Keep that flag moving! Keep that flag moving! So, Ninth Core pushes up. You got a, a few charges on this side, but I Core is going to clean that up. And I Core is actually going to keep pushing through here. You got five minutes. It's 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 for sure CSA will be breaking. Artillery getting about two, three kills there. They didn't hit their friendlies, and that was that was big. Racist flag. Grab this flag. Racist line. Come on, boys. You know what you're doing. Stop piddling your hand. And there they go. So, Union just won the game. I'm gonna stab you. I'm gonna stab you. You're gonna stab me. And I'm gonna stab you. You're gonna stab This round as a whole was very well done from Union. A lot more coordinated than the CSA side. I mean, you got some CSA or guys over there maybe going to see, but Union down there to prevent that, and it looks like they're going to get that A point again. Just to rub it in. Charge him out, boys. Charge him out. Kill him all. Kill him all. Dixon. What a kill from Dixon. Kill this slaver. Kill those fuckers. Ah, you're a fucking idiot. My ass. Dixon gets two kills before going down. What a guy. CSA, uh, you had some CSA reinforcements kind of spotted in keep here. Him. Ninth core charging keep into charging, that. Charging, oh shit, my bad. And I mean, this match is all but over. It's just uh, casualties is what's going to be added to the result here. And Union's going to get that A point, so... No, you will not kill my prep. Oh. And they're charging the RDI. Sure, what happened here? Forward! I mean, the imbalance is nine, which is not crazy by any standards. And Union has two more guys on artillery. So, I mean... 
By all standards, this was just complete domination from everyone on the Union team here. I mean, CSA lost the battle on that wood line. I'd have to look back on that to really remember the specifics because it was just kind of a lot of charging back and forth. Like, i got behind. So I remember CSA charged in, and then i charged the back of their line. And wiped some guys that were trickling in and then pushed to the snake fence. Union reinforcements came in and wiped the CSA that kind of took some ground. And then they linked up with i and slowly and methodically pushed down the fence line up here. It just seemed that whenever the major encounters were happening, happening Union was together mostly as a team. And the CSA force that was engaging that large Union force was not their whole team. So, I think that's that's probably the biggest, I think, reason why Whatever's left of EB, we're going back CSA to lost this match. Because they lost the defensive wood line here. Sure, you have some defenses, and they were holding up top to use them. But Union just swept down through here. And then went straight to that flagpole. Not a lot of CSA were over here because they shifted up on top of this hill. And allowing Union to even temporarily get that A point uh, really was a nail in the coffin for the CSA. So overall great teamwork and coordination from Union. Now I don't blame Union falling back a little bit. Just preserve at least some casualties. Let the flag do its work. And with a minute left, this was just beautifully played from the Union side. Really well done on their part. <laughs> I just saw someone put in chat, great muster guys. Let's see how the same motivation for when the match is live. <laughs> a very good comment. Let's see, am I in the... Wolf from HD, very funny. Who has the fire alarm? Holy moly. So that's going to end the first round here for tonight. I haven't seen this map in a while. So, so CSC captured A after the round finished. So, I, I mean, there's not much more to say. Uh, honestly, even when you look at this, the, the review, it just it honestly looks like CSA mostly together on that wood line. So, I mean, it just, frankly, I think this just came down to better union play. So, really well done. We'll see how it goes for round two, which, if I'm if I'm thinking right, railroad cut favors union in terms of who can get to the points quicker. So, we'll see how that goes. Casualties, surprisingly, even, and we'll see you shortly for the next round. All right, here we are with round number two, eighth Alabama balanced over to the other team they advance from usa to csa so very appreciative of that that imbalance now is four artillery wise union has six confederates have one but confederates cannot use artillery until the 35 minute mark so as a reminder uh, just because this event has different rule set um, they go to their home flag position which union at c again and for csa it's a and they can cap it at 42 which is when the round starts and from there, they can't take that middle point. I know at the end of last round, I mentioned that this map would favor Union, but I just completely threw out the rule set in my mind. So apologies for uh, forgetting about that. But anyways, this will be interesting because we're only going to be fighting over A and C. Um, and it looks like you're going to have some tiny skirmishes happening here. Uh, 5th VA is going up against i -Corps. objectively bad. I mean, that's like a really rude thing to say. That's fucking I don't, the enemy, the enemy forces are here. The oppositional forces are here. <laughs> so they're not going to last too long. CSA defensive line, you got the rest of two core up top. They're going to move down to assist. But 
the bigger fight is about to start happening in the wood line as Union is trying to outflank CSA. We'll see if Knight looks to his left. And he does. Oh, uh, center of Ninth Force line is no more. Eighth Alabama, and you got some more Kelly's brigades over here. Uh, they're getting slammed right now by HD and Union. It appears to be defeating CSA in detail on this front, but on the other front that we got here, Iron Brigade's holding back. HL is pushing out. MB looks like the file. Six New York is roaming in the background. Oh, what the fuck? So it looks like we're watching a little battle of bull run here. CSA is hitting the flank of one team. Or, yeah, CSA's turning Union's left, and the Union is turning CSA's left. <laughs> really fascinating. But CSA's won on that uh, stake fence. And they have a free ring to see. A lot of Union, they're still sitting back there, moving a lot slower than... Went a lot slower than what CSA is. Are they going to pursue? HL is continuing to move here. Wilkes in front. I mean... CSA basically have a firm pat. Obviously, if Union moves to that A point through the wood line, they're going to have a great opportunity at that. We should go uh, try to push for C. I am so sorry. Someone just hey, guys, down. look. It's Mendo. Uh, okay. Anyways, briefly at C, HL's charging in on a mix of guys, mostly uh, i though. Kill him, kill him, kill him, and kill HL's going to get that. HL doesn't have a flag, but they're going to be able to do some damage here. Cutting back to this A point here, it looks like some of the Union's holding as a defensive line, but HD and PB uh, going right on the rear here. You and dumb fucks, look at y'all trying to attack. I really I had to load. <laughs> Few charging here, KB's holding. Huh. Not gonna lie, it looked like they were completely outnumbered by HD, and uh, they, they won. Got more Union reinforcements. Eagles Brigade Hold shifting here. up right fire. now. Down. Uh, you have a lot of CSA no, actually, making no, movement towards C. Fortunately, we can't watch both at once, but uh, you got two core pushing around here. It looks like Union is starting to overwhelm. They're flanking both sides at the A point. I mean, you got a few MB guys here and a couple of Bane spawns, but Union's in the process of decapping A, and it looks like they're going to get that. Moving over to C here. This looks a little more contested. HL, 6 New York, 32nd Ohio. I think I saw 8th Alabama there as well. Looks like they're starting to win. You have some reinforcements moving in on the top of your screen as well. So they're going to swap points here in a minute. That flag is jumping around. Get their flag down. Up and over so, TSA win there. Union do get this A point, but it looks like maybe CSA is starting to gain some ground. KB is putting a lot of pressure up top. You got more CSA. I think that's two core. They're starting to uh, shift down and shoot down the railroad at the point. Yeah, cover battle, cover battle. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. But Union's dealing a ticket loss on the CSA right now. I'm surprised C isn't decapped yet. There he goes. And honestly, it looks like the sides are going to switch from last round, and it looks like CSA is going to be able to get both these points. Two Union has two down flags on this front, maybe. A f no, just the two. And they're going to be able to get that decap. Let's cut it back to C here. It looks like there's some skirmishing happening. There's a whole unit here. There's a whole unit to your side. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Behind you, behind you, behind you. So Union Artillery uh, is located up there. So, but for some reason, there's CSA guys on it. A couple infantry skirmishers. Uh, CSA Artillery is all the way over there on the other side of B and they can't use it until again that 35 minute mark no one has any points CSA is about to get one and 
Union's got to move quickly on this C point. They are not in a great spot. They're all moving out from Maine. They should be able to retake C. Uh, they got to do it fast, though. I core HD sprinting down towards that point. Ninth New York kind of reforming there, getting their reloads boys. and potentially bayonets. No, and I hope you die first. I would assume so if they're going to hold. But here we go. Biggest thing for CSA is Union lost those flags at that A point. Is CSA going to keep these flags alive? They're not going to. There was surprisingly a lackluster amount of CSA. One, one dies? No way. Grinch is going to get that out. So CSA have both points. They're dealing two flags pulls worth of damage. They'll have it for about, I assume, 20-some seconds before Union really sweeps through. But Grinch is still chasing down that flag. Oh, now it's Jock. Sorry. Grinch was the one with the flag. But everything's returned to normal. CSA has their front. Union has their front. But CSA should be up on tickets. At least I'm assuming that much. I mean, CSA's still up, a flagpole. It's our Mr. President. It's our Mr. President. Our other line is already headed in the woods. This side the fence, y'all. This side the fence. It's kind of hard to hear him. All right, well, then we just got to let someone stay. NC on Rob. NC on Rob. Heading north. But they're game planning about it, trying to see what went wrong. You have Union already pushing through the wood line right now. And Union's finally got that C point. But they're down about a fourth. Could argue a third of a morale stage. I reckon it's fourth, though. Ninth core, uh, you got part of HD moving down as well. So those flags, again, they got a five-minute despawn. Uh, so Union's probably not getting them back for another two or so minutes. We'll see how Union and CSA kind of respond because they both turned each other's flanks and uh, it ended up working better for CSA in the end. Uh, you got Eagles Brigade trying to push up this left side. I mean, honestly, CSA could kind of keep doing what they're doing, uh, but it's really going to depend on how many guys they each side wants to send to the other team's point. Because again, if we sit like this for the rest of the game, it's going to stay in CSA's favor. Look left, last. Look left. Enemy's coming. Get up on this new line. So CSA, 2 core, they know what's up. They see the Union. I think that's uh, the HD group. But you got Knife Core running through the front side here. So Knife Core using that smoke shield to kind of pull back. Some CSA have moved over to where, yep, that's HD. I don't think they have a flag, though. Those two Union flags. Group on the bush! Group on the bush! Oh, hey, Knight. Skirmish to the left, boys. Open order to the left. Open order to the left. Open order to the left. Virginia! Virginia! Fire! So, CSA holding a firm line, KB, 8th Alabama, and HL holding firm forward, Union kind of falling back. You got a lot of CSA, 6 LA's holding on the right side of that big line, but 6 New York is kind of in the railroad in the sun, getting a nice little tan as they shoot into the woods. Kind of get their trying to flank here, could be perceived as in the open, uh, brutish at least. Trying to see them. I guess they're a lot harder to see 
than what uh, you would expect from a spectator view, but it looks like they're going to pull off seeing them there. So I think Union does have to make a play for that A point with their whole team at some point because they're down on tickets. And so if anything, they will lose or have a draw. There's no way they can win being down tickets. So I think it's smart if CSA just wholly defends the point. Maybe send a group out if you want to see if Union doesn't have anybody at that uh, C point. But CSA just needs to defend this. Union needs to, as a team, get that point. Disco throwing some shots, getting very close to where I point is here. Yeah, my friend, you son bitch. And Union's down to engage. Fall back. Fall back. Bad boys. I'm gonna hate the fags. Go talk. He'll get down. Hey, boys. Hey, boys. Go on, boys. And KB is sweeping. 6LA, 8th Alabama joining in unison. Some of the i guys trying to hold, but CSA sweeping. So unlike last round, CSA is controlling the field. Looks like he got some more Union that have shown up. Uh, is it knife core and they're pulling back? That's the thing though is Union is having a good chunk of their team sit back and defend the point. Uh, 32nd Ohio Iron Brigade, 83rd Pennsylvania. They're holding back right now. It's a good chunk of your team. Um, and that's going to detract from that assault which the whole CSA team is defending. CSA don't have anyone on artillery. There's no strategic advantage whatsoever for CSA to have that so it makes sense get in the court get in the court spread out spread out don't clump up so I mean the question at, at hand is is CSA going to try to make a break for A? I don't know. They don't need to, but if they want to get a win-win, they got to, they gotta, I think, largen this ticket gap. Unless it's a scenario like this. Because it's, what, a little less than a fourth of morale stage difference. So I wouldn't mind CSA putting on the pressure, and it looks like Kelly's Brigade 50A heading to do that right now. Northeast night, baddies. Cut the grass. So they're just kind of uh, skirmishing it out. Not skirmishing it out, but they're awfully close. Charging happening on the corner fence, though. Looks like 9th Corps is slamming into HL in some 8th Alabama. Mostly 9th Corps. Guess what I have? I have fucking ball. You have a face. Now you don't. Yeah, bastard. I have a dog. And CSA is going to be able to hold there. You have Union charging on this front as well. HD slamming into KB 50A, and they are going to win that. But importantly, CSA got that flag out. Yeah, they ain't getting nothing. Hey, pick the right shot. Pick the right shot. Pick the right shot. So good, two good charges there on Union's part. They're trying to get that flag, and it's going to be close. That flag, who is this guy? I want to, please don't die. The Stakenator. He's going to be able to at least get it back to his line, which, all that, which is all that. Don't shoot me, don't shoot me, don't shoot me. Gander, shoot me to your game, shoot me. So... Uh, I think two good charges there for Union. They didn't necessarily win this one here, but they, they pretty much wiped that CSA group. You got, who is this, i -Core bouncing around here. Uh, trying to hit CSA on their flank. Looks like CSA is mostly 
on the north side of the railroad, the right side here, holding forward. They're not. There's not a whole lot defending the back side, which a uh, few I Corps moving through right now. Cheeto in front. MB is here, but not a whole lot of them there. Right here, they're right here, they're right here, they're right here. I'm out of ammo, boys, come on. Come on, sword fight me, I'm out of ammo. There you go, we got, we got the nerves. Enemies on the right. I killed that guy too, alright. I don't have any flags. But, MB is somehow picking apart i guys, despite them being blatantly outnumbered. Uh, they are going to lose in the end, but they got a good few kills and caused the team stab. And they they held them off long enough to get HL up here. Union's getting dangerously close here to the CSA lines. I may not have been it, but I will absolutely club you to death. Come here, boy. Come on, stop running. Stop running. Yeah, go. Yeah, go. Yeah, go. Keep running. About face, about face. About face, about face, about face, about face. So maybe we got Union. Eagles Brigade. Going up the south side of the railroad, it seems most of Union is starting to push this side right now. Uh, they are going to hit the uh, back of HL and 8th Alabama. They're getting that flag. It's a good kill. Kill these reps. And CSA now down to engage. Wipe them, wipe them. Charge in, charge in. Be aggressive here. They don't have flag. Kill the rest. Charge them, boys. Charge them. Hey, get back here. So good wipe. Oh my goodness, there's 6LA. They rolled up and they saved the day. Oh, we got more Union 9th Corps slamming into this side right now. There's another, it looks like more Union. Most of this attacking Union force is pushing along this side. Now I see i is back here. MB rolling back up again. And that ticket difference is growing in CSA's favor right now. So, so far a great maneuver here from Union. Uh, CSA looks like some of them, Pickett's Brigade, maybe 58 is going to go up here as well and start shooting at Union, but Union might gun it to try to cap this point. Angles, watch out, there's fall damage down. CJ trying to deke. Oh, what a shot. Who's the officer? It's Star. He's a star with that pistol. What a good pun. So, CSA trying to hold. He got Teletubby. He's raising that flag back. At least I think he is. I, I, he must be out of line. Y'all on the right in the open. Shift left. Get behind some of this cover. He's also on the wrong side, but uh, he's using it as cover. Fair enough. Hey, let's put it out, put it out, put it up to the left and right. Knife Corps moved up here as well. So it's the fight over the crater. This is what I imagined when I played this map on Pickle Patrol years ago. Right there, flag pass. I don't know if I've ever seen a strict engagement across the rocks. Which Union are sending a few guys down. They're trying to decap. But I don't think they're going to be... Oh, Union Artillery shot through here. That's a crazy shot even though they hit nothing. The flag is down. The flag is down. I didn't realize you could shoot through all of that. That kills mine. Coming through. Coming through. This ticket gap is... It's almost half a morale stage in CSA's favor right now. So CSA is definitely at a comfortable lead. They do not need C. Looks like Union's been beaten back. I mean, it's going to be hard for Union to break this spot off of CSA. Because decapping a point takes 25, 30 seconds. And the odds of you being shot by the whole CSA team is pretty high. So, I told you. 
really the only way you're going to make it happen is if you bonsai your whole team to decap the point. But that's going to result in your whole team dying and CSA is going to get that point back right away. And you'll lose a lot of tickets in the process because you're not killing a lot. You're just bonsai into a crater to get the point. Or the other option is try to wipe CSA completely. Which, that is going to be just as hard. 8th Texas from KB pushing up, taking some shots into HD. Get fucked, pussy! You can't brace for shit! Come back, Frank! Where you going? Get him, Knight! Get him! Come on! Don't let that flag run! Virginia! About face! Back into the woodline! Was not expecting a charge, but that was a good charge from KB. Looks like CSA's uh, collapsing in the center as well. HL and 8th Alabama are going in to finish off the remnants here of i Yeah, you're up, you're up, better run. Get back home, Kenny Obama's. Hold the rocks, hold the rocks. And they're going to push them back. So, Union down at half a morale stage, being pushed completely out of the fighting area. This is, this is going to be painful. Oh, hello. There's some fighting going on in the center of the map. Six New York and eighth Alabama, they just got a great volley on the ninth core I core guys that are there. HL's rolling up on the side as well. And they are getting beautiful tickets. No, the remnants are getting out of dodge. You got Union in the distance. The thing is, though, is if Union wants to take this point, they got to do it as a team or wait for CSA to leave the point, which they're not going to, because why would they? Uh oh. We can uh, Battle Line Network projects that Eagle Brigade is going to get wiped in a beautiful charge. Assuming they play aggressive. <laughs> take your shots, move into the woods. Yep. They don't have a flag, so uh, once they die, they they don't respawn back where they're at on this side. So Keep it on me, All man, no, CSA no, no, no. might be making a push to A right now. I mean, Union team is gathered up. Maybe we can hear them talking, officers, potentially. On the snake, bro. On the line, night four. I mean, that's, that's the hard thing with Conquest is you need to defend the one point, or I guess with this rule set especially, is that you need to defend the point with with some guys so that the enemy team can't send, you know, one tiny group and you lose the point. But you need to send nearly everybody in order to get the enemy's point if they're defending it with their whole team. Eagles Brigade is wiped. And any second now we're going to see them go down and taking losses. I mean, I think I think this is a neat rule set. It's definitely a different take on Conquest. It is a little unfortunate that uh, this this rule set really comes down to one engagement early on in the match, and whoever wins that will most likely win the match. We saw it with last round. Union took. Uh, they had the fight up in the forest. Union eventually won. They capped that point, that uh, CSA A point for a few minutes, and CSA was down half a morale stage, and Union completely fell off the point and just kind of defended for the rest of the game and won. And we're seeing the same thing this round, except CSA is doing it this time. Now, you have a CSA push. Uh, HL 
And I see a mix of KB and 6 New York as well. Brutish. Uh, gonna get some nice flanking shots on the side, but actually it looks like he's just going past. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you realize that. CSA is right here. <laughs> Uh, the CSA is kind of lingering. Uh, and I, of course, starting to turn around. HL retreating, but they're going to retreat right into... Ninth War. Don't touch me! Touch him! Come here, Flag! Come here! I don't know. I, I've seen a lot of different conquest rule set. Obviously, I've seen normal. I've seen normal conquest with a slow rate of ticket loss, like they lowered it um, so that the pace that teams lost tickets went down a flag is lower. I've seen it where one team defends a point until the 25-minute mark, and then... Uh, the two other points are opened up at the 25 minute mark and anyone can cap any point. And then I've seen what we have tonight. I honestly like that that 25 minute rule the best. To, to kind of explain it, so one team defends a point that they get to choose until the 25 minute mark. The other team can decap, but they can't cap that point. And then after the 25 minute mark, all three points can be capped by any team. And it really depends on the map. The map needs to allow the team that doesn't have the point initially, it needs to let them easily cap and defend the other two points so that they can catch up for the rest of the match. I think that's the best conquest situation I've seen so far. But that's just my opinion. I mean, this is this is kind of nice for most because for most of the match, the flags don't do anything, and so it really comes down to in the engagements and all that, which is neat. But again, one big early engagement. CSA won it here, and now Union's forced to attack, and CSA can just defend with their whole team, and they'll most likely never lose. Unless they screw up really bad, which you probably won't see. Union down to taking losses. Ninth core hits here. I love you, Burbo. Good job defending. Unless you have a shot. You're standing loading there. Fucking step. Right so, Ninth Corps is going to win that. Uh, little CSA force there. You got Union. I mean, this is what will screw CSA up here. Look how scattered they are. I don't know why they are. It's giving Union a window here. I Corps is rushing through. Nice volley there from different KV groups. 32nd Ohio and i is moving in, but they're moving in very independently. Very spread out. And I think KV might hold this. HD's here as well. 6LA, HL moving in as well. So... Despite CSA being a little spread out, it looks like they're still able to coordinate efficiently. Yeah, there's always more. What do y'all want? Looks like CSA's coming in waves. I'm here to beat people to death for the club. Come here, bastard. Are you there, boys? Are you there? That's all right, boy. You're dead, cut. Dead, too. Get him, Jason. So CSA is holding that. Union starting to make a break on this side as well. Hello. King Bob and Will uh, engaging with the rest of this KB, HL, 6LA group. I guess 58 is here as well. Everyone's here. Sorry, HL guy. Your fucking surroundings, people, for real. And you got some union going up to this A point, but there's an adequate amount of CSA around it to defend. I don't know why CSA. I guess they can get flank the union if they're pushing down this way, 
but they're holding really far back. And you hear him say move up. Union starting to make a break for this point. Nolan trying to get on it right now. A couple of Eagles Brigade guys trying to start this. Yeah, 6 New York is now moving in. Maybe they're going to charge. May if they charge, I can understand why they hid so that they can conceal themselves. Hello there, Jay. I mean, um, Yankee. Oh, boom, you're dead, Yankee. Come here, you want some? So are you, you son of a bitch. So are you, you son of a bitch. I'm going to fuck you, Dad. I'm going to fuck you. So, yeah, I, I don't, I don't, I like that. Never mind. Get this soldier. It was a little concerning at first. CSA hold that point. Honestly, if we look at the tickets, now I, for all I know, this could be something with the campaign, and this could be totally violating their rules. But, if I'm Union at this point, I fight the CSA until they're down and taking losses, and then I just sit back and hold at C for the rest of the match. So it's a draw. That's just me. Is it boring? Probably. It is. <laughs> but... I don't know, I heard somebody, uh, I think it's Colt from Brutish's POV saying that they just need to force a draw. Colt is saying that the Union team should try to full send the CSA on this right side here. If you want to force a draw, I think you, you I, I don't mind an attack, but you get him down to taking losses, pull out. Because you're going to want to force a taking losses, taking losses, draw. I don't think you should charge into CSA, though. Because CSA might counter charge out of that. CSA, you just got to do what you're doing. Honestly, if you're CSA, you need to avoid hitting taking losses. But if you are going to fall into taking losses, you need to knock you into breaking. Yeah, that's your game plan. But it's totally dependent on how aggressive Union is. CSA still has time to attack if they want. But. Union's getting beat back. Southwest. Oh, hello there. HD's back here. HL charging. And I definitely caught people off guard, including myself. Uh, they might lose their flag out of this, though, which won't despawn. I'm lumbering at it. Yeah, that won't despawn until 2 minutes and 40 seconds, so Union's down a flag, essentially, for the rest of the match. Copy that, KB, load and hold fire. Check when ready. Down these lines, down these lines, boys, at the deck. Take game. Take game. Take game. Holy Dixon over here. And Union backs off. So, yeah. I mean, Union can kill a few minutes. Hit him down to take him losses. That's what you got to do. This match is probably going to be a draw at this point. CSA is starting to push out a little bit, which... A little questionable. 6LA is going out. Again, I think if you're CSA at this point, you don't know where the Union's at, but you need to, I think you need to play defensive to not hit taken losses. Based on what CSA sees, I don't think CSA realizes the whole Union team is basically there. But the question is, if Union charges as a team, are they going to drop down to breaking? But if I'm Union, I, I just try to shoot this out for six minutes. Because uh, especially CSA is playing a little aggressive here. KB is playing really aggressive here. Oh, 
So ninth core charging in. Great wipe on their part. 6LA is going to try to roll up an assist with this. Um, and... It seems like Union's going to prevail on that front. TSA inching. Another charge happening on the far side. Or close encounter. More KB engaging with Ninth Corps. Actually, it's Eagles Brigade. I saw one Ninth Corps tag and looked at that guy. Five, a little over five minutes left on the map. Looks like Morse. I don't. CS. I'm, CSA might be trying to hit Union into breaking. Because they realize they're going to hit taking losses. Which at this point, uh, I kind of agree with that. So, I mean, if you're Union, once they hit taking losses, you got to retreat. And just defend that last point and hope CSA doesn't come at you. You have some minor skirmishes over there. In the Eagles Brigade, uh, who's this? I Corps mostly. I see Eagles Brigade as well. 32nd Ohio. They need to hit CSA and the taking losses and then get out of Dodge. Four and a half minutes. There they go. We have two options right now. Either we push or we defend for four minutes so it ends in a draw and the casualties won't be too We We still lose on the draw. I core, had to see. I core, had to see. Well, I guess they lose on a draw. They they might uh, refer to the actual morale stage. But for all intents and purposes, well, I guess in that case, I feel like you got to charge and try to take A, but. I mean, that's going to be really hard to do. Hey, that Alabama is holding a little far forward here. And they're going to hit, i is going to hit them, but KB taking advantage of that is going to flank on the side. They might be gunning it for A. There they go. Union falling back with their flag. I mean, a lot of the Union team, it looks like they're trying to, they're charging in. They hit the back side of this. I don't know who's charging on the, the left side of our screen, but KB getting in a little bit of an engagement here. Looks like CSA is going to hold on that side. Uh, it's it? six LA's rolling in, but it looks like KB and some eighth Alabama guys held there. So CSA holding the woods pretty dominantly. CSA forcing the hand and trying to get Union to breaking to make this confirmed their way. And it looks like they're going to try to go for A. Rally on that, boys. Full over two. They got two and a three quarter minutes. Union's kind of falling back. Some using that already as cover. Some holding by point. You got a lot of CSA moving through the corn here. And I mean. Yeah, I think it stands that one engagement decides these conquest matches. There we go. Six New Yorks charging in. They're gonna they're gonna win on there. Not a whole lot of Union. Some behind us. Some behind. KB starting to roll up the side, and they're gonna get the decap to happen, and this will for sure hit Union to breaking. As most of the Union team is kind of off the point. So yes, they should be able to decap at least. So. A uh, good win from CSA. They won the Battle of Bull Run at the beginning of this, and uh, they just had to defend, and they did that exactly. Oh my goodness, that lagged the game a little bit. The two already shots on the left. Load and hold. Wow. They do get that down. Not nice, not Union start, nice. <laughs> Union's going to start losing some tickets here. Got a couple of Union spring down. That son. Charge him, charge him, charge him, boys. Oh my god. Don't charge. What are we doing? Friendly, friendly, friendly. <laughs> there we go.
So Union doing one last huzzah. But anyways, uh, good two rounds today. Always uh, fun to watch Conquest, especially when you see a lot of fighting that happens over areas you don't normally see, which, again, because we don't fight over that middle point here. Uh, you get a lot of engagement in the woods over there, which you normally don't see on railroad, even for Conquest and Contention. So... Witness the blood bag. With that all being said, good one, one. I am awaiting. Uh, I'd like to thank War Secession for letting me watch. Thank you, Corded and Brutish, uh, for the Frontline Reporter views. Always appreciated. But let me know in the comments if you'd rather me watch War of Secession, which is this event, or War of Brothers, uh, which we covered a few weeks ago. It's uh, We'll see what we do in the end. You'll find out next Sunday. I know they're trying to revive NA Sunday Night Fights, so we might do that. We'll see. But anyways, thank you all for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe if you want to support the channel more. Please uh, check out in the description where you have our Patreon. You can get a live stream of all the broadcasts we do. You can advertise your regiment on the bottom of our videos and get raw gameplay footage of everything we cover with no commentary and UI. Besides that, we have our Discord and merch. If you want to get notified of our videos and other ways, we have a Twitter and Instagram posting and... Spectators get XP for once in your life. Anyway, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your night.